there's something about this place that is that's doing something different. I knew that I wanted to go to a progressive divinity school. I didn't want to go to a place where we were arguing about who was invited into the kingdom. So for me, it was very clear that there were very few options, but that this was the best one for me. I think everything is a theological question. So for me, I have a concentration in black religion and culture studies. I'm really interested in how do people, like how do we make meaning? And what are we paying attention to when we do that? Um, whose voices are centered, um, whose voices aren't? I, in the fall, am starting a doctoral program in religion, so in the area of religion, psychology, and culture. Um, and I hope one day to teach. I love, love, love um, my womanist professors. That would be Dean Towns, Dr. Shepard, Dr. Boyd Thomas, Dr. Thompson. I think that they have shaped me in ways that demand that I use my voice. There are so many times when you just feel like a little fish in a big pond because everyone is really smart. And you're like, maybe I don't know anything. Like, I didn't have these classes in high school. And yet, I've never felt that way in divinity school. If theological education is the hardest, in my personal opinion, and I am married to a doctor, the hardest um, kind of education there is because everything that you believe is called into question. Everything you don't think you believe is called into question. I think we really trust that the holy is bigger than all of this. Um, and so that there is room for our questions, our wrong answers, but there is also like a strong movement toward what is just that runs through this place. Like this is where I found my feet. It's like the feeling of, of community and not community that always gets it right, right? Because we most often get it wrong, but then we show back up again. And I think it's the showing back up again that for me has been the most formative.